Hi friends, this is Martin with you. Today we are going to discuss about a new two exercises. First one is fourth finger exercise and slurring. Okay, let's start. Now I will teach you how to use fourth finger in A string and E string. Okay, normally uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. We are practicing like this. This is A major, okay? Uh, here, A, B, C sharp, D. Next one is, we play it, open E. Fourth finger E, here. Little, this one is little far from D. There is one finger gap we need. See, one finger gap we need. This is E, okay? And this is a new note, A, B, C, D, E. You can avoid open E. Open E is always a little loud. Little more sound is not a uh, little loud. Fourth finger a little more muted. That's why when you are playing the songs and some other pieces, it more not a little more clear. Okay. Now I use the fourth finger. Now E open. The other difference. Okay. Uh, next one uh, E string. E string. There is one new note. F sharp, G sharp, A, and fourth finger in same place, but the note is different. Is B. Okay. This is a new note. E F G A B. Okay. Once again, A, B, C, D, E. Next one is slurring. How to use slur? What is slur? Slur means we are connecting more than two notes in same bow. Okay? Uh, example. Now I played the separate bows. Okay, now I use the separate bows. Here, now I played A and B in same bow. This is calling slurring. Okay, I will show you how to play this exercise. Here first bar is two quiver is one pop. Like this. D C D C. So separate. And same like this bar. This bar. Second last bar is A is separate bow. Next one is the same uh, same bow. Then uh, another three not the same bow. And fourth finger E. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for watching my videos. If you like my videos. Please subscribe and share to your friends. Thank you. Have a nice day.